Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about binary operations. So we have several examples that we're going to do. So a binary operation is an operation on a set such that given two elements uh, in the set, when you apply the operation you get an element in the set. So in each example here the operation has the name star. So for example, let's do the first one. So on the set of real numbers, if we define star as a star b equal to a times b, is that a binary operation on the set of real numbers? So what that means is, given any two real numbers, when you multiply them, do you get a real number? If that's true, then the answer is yes. So in this case, the answer is clearly yes, right? If you take any two real numbers and you multiply them, you are going to get a real number. We can take that for granted as just like an obvious fact, right? So uh, clear. So this is an, a binary operation on the set of real numbers, right? Again, this has to be true for every real number. If you find uh, two real numbers where it fails, no good. Let's skip ahead to example E. Just skip these and just go out of order because perhaps this one is more instructive next. Here again, the set is R, the set of real numbers. And the operation which we're trying to define is a star b equals a times the square root of b. So is this a binary operation on the set of real numbers? In other words, given any two real numbers, does this make sense and will it give us a real number? Well, the answer is no, right? Because we can come up with an example of where this fails. One such example, just one, all, in, all you need is one for it to fail, is if you take two star negative one, right? Negative one is a real number and so is two. And this is equal to two times the square root of negative one, right? So this is two i. This is not a real number, right? This is not an element in the set of real numbers. That means it does not belong to, right? So it's not an element in the set of real. This would mean belong, that means does not belong, okay? So, so this is no, so because it has to be true for all. If instead, let's say instead we change this to um, the complex numbers, then it would be okay. Right, like if this was the complex numbers, it's okay because we're allowing for complex numbers. So then it would be a binary operation. So kind of a nice example. How about this one? On the set of positive integers, that's what this is, like one, two, three, four, five. This is this 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 thing here is just one, two, dot, dot, dot. Is this a binary operation? So given any two integers, any two positive ones, does this produce a positive integer? Again, the answer is no, right? We can take, we can take, say, two star. Seven. I mean, there's so many options here, uh, and that's two over seven. That is certainly not an element in the set of positive integers, right? So that does not work. That does not work. If we had said maybe all non-zero rational numbers, then then it would work, right? I say non-zero because we can't divide by zero. <laughs> so you have to really think. So again, all you have to do to say no is just come up with one example where it fails. In order to say yes, usually it's pretty obvious when it's yes. Like, oh yeah, it makes sense. How about this one? Yeah, here we go. Here's an example of obviousness. This is all integers. So this is like dot, 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 negative one, zero, one, two, dot, dot, dot. It's, this is all the integers. That's what this set means. So if you take any two integers and you multiply them, do you get an integer? Yes, right? Any two integers times an integer is always an integer. There's no no issues there, right? Usually you don't have to prove stuff like this, the yeses. I mean, it's a little bit uh, harder to prove. It relies on some really basic things that we typically, we, we just take them for granted so we can go further uh, in math. Here's an interesting example. On the set of positive integers, uh, if you star a and b, so that would give you a minus b. Is that a binary operation? Well, no, right? Because you can take, say, one star eight. That would be one minus eight, which is negative seven, right? That is not a positive integer, right? That fails, so this would be no, it was a definite no, right? So that, I like this problem, it's a little bit sneakier, right? You have to think, right? So if you take any two positive integers and you subtract them, do you get a positive integer? No, right? So we found one example where, uh, where it fails. If you change this to the set of all integers, if I erase the little plus, then, then we're good, right? Then we're good. So I hope this video has brought to light some knowledge on binary operations. So just a quick recap, a binary operation on a set is an operation 
such that for any two elements in that set, you apply the operation to those two elements, hence the word binary, and that produces another element in the set. In order to show something as a binary operation, you, just, you can usually just look at it, right? So we only had, I think, two yeses, and we didn't really show any work, right? It's, it's kind of clear. For all the no's, all we did was find one example where it fails. So for it to be yes, it has to clearly be true for all elements. For it to be no, all you have to do is find one pair of elements for which it fails. I hope you found this video to be helpful or enlightening in some way. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Keep working hard. Take care.